And then the photoresist. So in order to do all of this writing on the wafer, you need a material that can be written into. So a photoresist that we use is an organic polymer, normally, you know, kind of like an acrylate or some sort of polymer like that, um, that when exposed to light experiences a chemical change. And so um, this could be a couple different ways. Um, so in one case, we have something that is a positive photoresist. So then whenever uh, light hits it, uh, it be becomes um, usually uh, soluble in some sort of solvent or a developer, kind of like a photo um, photograph, you know, old school photography, you use a developer to um, do the uh, picture formation. Um, and then this area is removed and you kind of leave here um, lines. So imagine these are lines across the wafer. Um, there's another kind where when exposed to light, it becomes cross-linked and then that area remains, remains there and then the rest of it is removed with solvent. Um, each of them has their purpose um, for different per um, features, different things, different reasons. Um, everybody kind of has their own reason why. Um, so that's, that's great. Um, and so if you guys see the shiny, shiny mirror wafer, um, so there's a couple issues with photoresist and silicon. Uh, for instance, uh, that's shiny. So if you imagine if you've got um, light coming through that, it's going to reflect back off and cause issues. Uh, so that reflection um, is bad. So that's, that's one reason why you need uh, a, an anti-reflective coating, which is what Brewer Science does. Another problem is, if you imagine that's pretty shiny, things aren't going to stick well to it, other than our fingerprints. So uh, we need something that's underneath that photoresist to keep it um, stuck to the wafer and prove its adhesion. And so that's why it's good to put another specialized coating underneath it to kind of help that, that stay whenever you need to do your work. All right, so a little bit of chemistry, not a lot of chemistry, um, but the, the workhorse for um, these photoresist patterns is something called a chemical, chemical amplified resist, or CAR. Um, so it kind of has two components here. Uh, we have something called a photo acid generator. This is a, a chemical that when exposed to light releases a super acid, um, which is great um, for, for what we need to do. And then we have a polymer that has some acid labile groups on it here. So whenever the acid is generated, it attacks this uh, acid label or labile group, cleaves it off, and relie leaves something that will be soluble. And in this case, we're looking at so something that's soluble in basic developer. We use tetramethyl ammonium hydroxide in water. Um, that's kind of the industry standard for doing this. And so. Um, once you've done that, you, you have a um, kind of a switch here, and then that removes, and then you at least behind your pattern whenever you do the um, develop off. So what is the resist resisting? It, the resist is in there for a reason, right? Uh, why is it called photoresist? Well, if we kind of look here at our typical transistor structure, we have a source, a gate, a drain, oxide, the body. Um, how do we make that? So in certain areas, we need to um, dope, you know, in dope or P dope, we need to put oxide here to kind of separate them out. We've got to make some like metal layers on here to connect them to the all the way to the top to get to the interconnects and things like that. So um, that's that's all built with the photoresist. And so some common processes that we use are etching. We do ion implantation. Sometimes you'll deposit a metal layer. I think earlier we saw that you deposit copper. All of that is kind of done um, this way. So that's kind of the photoresist main job. Uh, make the pattern and then resist something else that, that you can do it. And kind of an example here of the substrate. So we have the silicon, and then we'll put like a silicon oxide. That's your um, usually here. And then the resist goes through a couple different processes, leaves behind some structures. You do some other stuff, and then repeat it about, I don't know, 7 billion times. And so you, you get that 